Well, we do have it easy in this country. We've had it, we've had it, uh, we've had it easy, and now times are getting crazy. Katrina, that, that was... You know, I thought all during Katrina was like, man, how many people must have been blackout drunk down there during that time? And just, shit, I've been so wasted in New Orleans. I can only imagine, like, coming to in the middle of all that. And thinking, oh, shit, what did I do? Dude, was I near a dam ever? Was I near a dam at one point last night? What the hell happened? I heard a lot of people saying that during Katrina, you know, that the poverty was revealed. And that we saw that there was, you know, poverty in our country. And that's kind of true. People don't want to admit that there's poor people in our country because you don't think about it. Because in our country, too often poor people, you know, they just look like black people. So you're like, well, shit, you, know, you don't think of them as poor people. You don't think of them as poor people until they come floating by on a car door with their kids in a cooler. And you're like, holy shit, that dude's poor, huh? Look at that. He doesn't even have a bass boat or nothing. What the hell's he thinking? Floating around on a car door. They kept showing the looting footage of those guys stealing beer, and it was the same clip of them stealing beer from the liquor store. And everyone was, you know, was, was blown away that someone would steal beer. Look at those people stealing beer at a time like this. Can you believe it? Can you believe they're stealing beer at a time like this? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I can believe it. Of course I can believe it. If I was dirt poor and I was left behind in a major American city and I had to doggy paddle through sewage to find a roof to sleep on, I might want to get fucked up. I really might want to. You know what I mean? I might want to get a bit of a buzz going in that situation, you know? A little free beer might seem like a good idea when all my shit was underwater, because, uh, you know, I've gotten blackout drunk because it's cloudy out, and I just thought, shit. I actually heard people complaining about countries that we helped during the tsunami not helping us during, a, during Katrina. Well, with those people we helped, they ain't helping us now. First of all, they did help us. And second of all, how much help do we expect these, these spoiled Bangladeshi fishmongers? Those no good bastards living high on the hog over there while we're underwater, those fucks. They must have something they could have sent over, maybe at least a half-eaten blanket laying around. I'm sure they had a half-eaten blanket. Let's face it, our reading and writing skills in our country, every day there's a story in the paper about how shitty our schools are. They just keep getting worse all the time. I, I read a book that was filled with letters that soldiers during the Civil War had written to their girlfriends back home. These guys were kids. They were 14, 15-year-old kids. Most of these guys had never even been to school, but every single letter in the book was incredible. Every single letter was like, My dearest Hannah, this morn finds me wracked by the fiery pangs of your absence. I'll bear your cherished memory with me as I battle the forces of tyranny and oppression. <laughs> now think about what the typical letter from your average modern day soldier to his girlfriend back home in like New Jersey's gotta read like. Dear Marie, it is hot as fuck out here. <laughs> it is hard to fight these sand monkeys with your balls stuck to your legs. It is very, very hot out here because I am in the dessert. <laughs> what else did I want to ask you? Oh yeah, don't fuck nobody, like it back. <laughs> <laughs>